Okay, I'm going to go ahead and finish out this week's information by final processing of this image as well as placing a little graphic here. The things that I'm going to go ahead and look at are <clears throat> putting a small graphic on here. Now you might think that with an image program that in order to get another image on here you would do an insert but that's not the case you will want to go to file and place and I've already selected this little candle burning image that I want to place on here and as soon as I place it on there I can go ahead and click OK notice that it has made its own little layer now the thing with layers of course is that you can manipulate them so that this candle image actually layers below um, the other images. So to do that I can either drag an image on top of it or I can just simply drag it down. Now some of the other things I would like to deal with here are the background color. I've been designing on a background of white simply because it was easier to look at until I made some decisions. However, I've come to a decision that I want this portion of my web page to be black. Now I could set transparency here and make it uh, so that it that the page itself is black but then I tend to get these little fragments of um, color on the edges of my graphics so I prefer on my image to go ahead and make the background of the image the same color as the background of my web page. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. To do that, I'm clicked on to my background and I basically want to change the color of the background. And to do that, I'm going to come over to my color palette and I'm going to click on it and I'm going to choose black. I'm going to get as far as I can to that black and of course I could just simply do zeros across the board and get a pure black and click OK. Now I'm going to use my fill bucket and click into that layer and fill it in. And that's exactly what I wanted so I'm on track but of course I can't see some of the text that I've got going here. So one of the things I'm going to do is um, hide that black background and I'm going to come up to the text that needs to be changed which is this education uh, etc. I'm going to click on it. Remember if I highlight it I really can't manipulate it so I'm just going to simply click on the text. I'm on the layer that I want to manipulate and now I'm going to come up and I'm going to choose a pretty pale color of gray and then I'm going to turn on my background once more and take a look at it there. And in general it's not the world's greatest graphic but it will do the trick. And I am going ahead and lining up my elements so that I can create a strong visual line. I'm going to go ahead and move that a little bit more so that the visual line here lines up somewhat with the edge of this candle. Um, and then I could also make that fill in just a bit more. So once again, not a super great graphic, but it's something and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and do a file save for web and remember we want to try to pull this down as much as possible in terms of compression. So I'm looking at the original which is coming in at 352k you can see that down here in the lower left and it's giving me a default of a GIF at 16.34k which is great actually um, but I could play around and just check JPEG's a little bit higher, ping 8 uh, is a little bit lower. So let's go ahead and go with the ping 8 of at 13.6 kilobytes and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And I'm going to save it. I'm actually replacing an earlier version of it so you wouldn't have that last little bit of a dialogue. And then I'm going to come into my Dreamweaver over here and I want that image to end up right in here so I'm going to go ahead and delete that placeholder text and click on insert image and then I'm going to go find this fire piece and click OK. Now we haven't talked yet about um, designing in terms of web accessibility we will later in the semester but for the moment what you should be putting in your alternate text is the entire phrase so um,
and for the sake of time here, I'm not going to fill in the entire phrase, but you really should. Um, and, I'll, and I'll talk about why at a later point. I'm going to go ahead and save that. And at this particular point, <clears throat> that is all there is to creating a graphic with fonts. Keeping in mind that we've created a picture of words. We haven't really enabled Dreamweaver or any kind of web engines to identify this as words, etc. And um, we'll talk more about that as we go uh, on later in, in the semester. But for the moment, that's it. You would obviously go ahead and color the rest of your page to be appropriate in terms of design. You would uh, choose your fonts, choose your hyperlink colors. Let me very quickly uh, just simulate all of that. If I were to go to right click in page design and I wanted to choose my background color to be uh, the black, I could do that. But of course my base font uh, would need to be changed to a different color. I'm going to go ahead and change that to over to a gray. I'm going to come back to page properties because I do need to change these hyperlinks. These hyperlinks are way too dark. I'm going to change those to a light gray as well. And um, there you have it. Okay, so you could still add a background. You could still do a variety of different things to the entire page, but that's how you would create a little uh, design element. Now, for this week's work, I want you to put this particular design element into a simple page all by itself. Talk to you later, bud.